Mom and I woke up knowing that this would be the day. We could just feel it. Fragments I remember of my mother pacing from the kitchen to their bedroom. He couldn't eat anymore. She sent me to the market to get food for prospective guests that would stop by. It was a quiet day to me. That's why I knew. I went to him around 1.30 in the afternoon and I held his hand and said, Dad, I love you. If you can hear me, squeeze my hand. And he did ever so slightly. That did it. I went to my room and bawled my eyes out. I remember listening to Regina Bell's cover of Could It Be I'm Falling in Love over and over again. I just put the CD on repeat. I don't know why, but the melody and the gospel hook at the end got me through that moment in time. Then I went to a Don't Let Me Be Lonely Tonight rehearsal at John's. I had to get out of there. I still have mixed emotions about that. Part of me feels I should have stayed there for my mother, but a bigger part of me feels that my dad, a showman himself, would spin if I missed a rehearsal. And why wait for the inevitable? But I still do wish I would have been there to witness my father's last breath. He died at 5.15 p.m. My brother Dan called over to John's house, and John told me. I'll never forget taking the phone from him and hearing my brother say he died. My mother broke my heart. I, I could hear her crying in the background. I left rehearsal immediately. The ride home was an eternity. In fact, Lalynn, my good friend and business associate, made it from rehearsal to my house before I did. That made me chuckle. My family has a huge sense of humor. Then Mrs. Brown soon came to the house. She was one of the great ladies from hospice. We all sat around and waited for the funeral home to come and pick up the body. That sounds cold, but it's my belief that my dad was truly gone. He was up there partying with his mom and dad and brother Steve and Ken and all my friends and all his friends and all your friends. Funny thing is, I found humor in it in a way. Here we were all sitting around talking about all sorts of things, and just in the next room lays this body, still, ever so still, and growing paler and paler and paler. Finally, they came and got him. That day was my father's last one on this earth, but I now realize that it was the first day of the rest of my mother's and my life.